Hey, how's it going? Hans Schaff here. Very excited because I've got my new trailer here behind me. My new tiny house trailer. It's a freaking monster. <laughs> I knew how, long, how big it was going to be, but uh, now that it's here, I'm going to take you through a quick little video and kind of explain to you some of the things that we've done here. It actually turned out better than I thought. Um, man, this is massive. Uh, 32 feet long um, from basically the end there to the front of the trailer here. Then there's a seven foot platform on top here and the gooseneck actually stops right at the very front of the trailer. Usually I thought it was going to extend out the very front, but this way it's actually more flush um, with the very front. It's got an eight inch seat channel there on the front. You can see how stout this thing is. This, this thing is crazy. Um, I'm very excited about it. And uh, they actually ended up using tubing channel or tubing, uh, metal tubing instead of just the, the channel. So I've got an eight inch seat channel, or which is actually eight inch tubing now, running all the way down the length of both sides of this uh, trailer. Um, and I've got this angle iron here on the outside. It, it, the actual width of it is, one oh, is 100 inches wide, which is 8 foot 4. So it gives me 2 inches, 1 inch on each side of, of uh, you know, leeway because that's the maximum width that I can build to here in Alabama and in most roads in the country. Um, it's triple axle, 7,000 pound axle, so they can actually hold over 20,000 pounds of weight. And they, that's actually, they actually boxed it in, and it's still rounded on the outside, but it'll make it much easier to build to. Uh, I can just glue stuff right to it and then, you know, screw it down real easy. It's actually nine feet long, that, that section right there. It's going to be where my uh, kitchen table and kitchen sink is. Um, and this thing is awesome, but it's all powder coated. Um, it's all brand new, made from scratch. It took about two months for them to build it. It's got electric uh, there and there. Of course, electric brakes and whatnot, trailer brakes. Here's from the back. I'll give you a little shot of it. Bam. <laughs> 32 feet long, 7 feet on the top, so I have a little deck off the back here, about a 2 foot deck. The rest of it's going to be all interior trailer, or interior house. I'll show you what I've done here, so you can see there's the, uh, let's see if I can get the sun to adjust, but I don't know if you can see it, but there's actually angle iron there on the outside, and I'm going to um, screw some 2x6s, uh, or 2x8s, to that um, angle iron underneath to extend down so I can insulate all that. I'll jump up on top these beams and of course these three inch uh, C channel or sorry uh, tubes that are going across the cross members are 16 inches on center all the way across and this is basically um, my subfloor that I will be able to attach my house directly to the, the plywood is going to basically screw down directly to the trailer so it's going to be very you know very strong um, then from there it's going to raise four feet up from the from the base of this up here to the top and that's going to be the bedroom actually up there on the front seven foot Actually, it's going to extend a foot further back here. It'll be an eight-foot wide bedroom um, on top here of this um, trailer. So I'm excited. I just want to share this with you here real quick, kind of give you an idea of what my trailer looks like before I started building. I'm um, going to be started building on it here right away. Um, man, it's just it's just uh, really cool. Another advantage of going with the uh, gooseneck is you have these two huge supports here um, that will help level the trailer. I don't need to get as many jacks with uh, these. I'll show you the different angle here. Here's the front. You can see some of that metal work here. We've we got 8 inch seat channel there, two rows of it there, and it's just it's, this thing is just stout. Look at all that metal. <laughs> so shiny and new. Here's where I'm going to have my uh, underneath. I'll have a little platform for um, uh, the HVAC unit and the propane tanks, but here's the handle. You can kind of see how this thing twists a little handle there and these two uh, supports come down and, and hold it up. So um, this thing is going to be massive. So I'll give you one more shot one more time and I'll have more details and a list of the information out somewhere in a blog post or something, but I just want to give you this quick little view of the trailer before it turns into a tiny house. September 1st, 2015 the beginning it begins this one actually cost me about six thousand dollars and uh, which is a really good price contact me for more information if you'd like to get a tiny house trailer i can hook you up um local guy here in huntsville and everywhere else, else i looked it was at least a thousand or two thousand dollars more than that for this size trailer of course you get something smaller it'd be a lot cheaper than that but uh it's a big one triple axle uh twenty one thousand pounds that i can actually build on top of this thing here and I'm excited. All right, see you in the next video.